this video, we are going to look at reusing pre-made content. This is also known as linking to alternate sources. A number of components within Schoolbox are capable of linking and displaying content and resources from other folders and homepages. This does not duplicate the content, rather, it creates a live link to it. So, if there are changes made to the original content of the component, these changes will be displayed on all pages that are linked to the component. The benefit being that you don't have to remember to update multiple copies of the same information. This important feature enables users to share, collaboratively develop, and centralise content in Schoolbox. Here's a good tip for using this feature. To find out if a component has the option to link to an alternative source, click the Settings icon in the Components header. You will then see a button called Select Source. This button means that the component can be linked to an alternative source within your Schoolbox instance. Here's an example. I have a Tiles component on my course page that I want to use on my class page. I first need to add a Tiles component to my class page. Then, using alternative source linking, I will select the Source button to find my unit tiles on my English course page. Then I'll click Use this folder. If there are multiple types of the same component on your source page, you can browse and select your source using the drop-down menu, then click Update. The component will now display the content of the source you've chosen. In this example, the unit tiles on my English course page are now also displaying on my class page. Here's another example. There is a news component on another class page that is studying the same course as my class is. By using alternate source linking, I can add that news component to my class page too, so that it can be used to give all students the same information about the course. To do this, I first need to add a news component on my class page, click the settings in the components header, and then click select source. I will then navigate my way through to find the other class page where the news component is located. Once I have found the page, I will click Use this folder, then Update. This means that any teacher of the subject, or even a head teacher, can send out news specific to the faculty or subject area to all students studying the course through the class pages. They only need to go to one of the class pages to send out the news and because it's alternate source linked, it will go to all students studying that course. I can continue to link an unlimited number of components on the class page to alternate sources. Any changes I make on the component will affect all linked copies. So if I change the image in this tiles component on the class page, it will also affect the original source, as well as any other sources, that are using this image. If you're intending on using collaborative components, such as a social stream or forums, with different cohorts of students, it is best not to set this up on a unit or course page. This is because you cannot easily delete all comments and posts within collaborative components. Instead, you will need to delete each individually, which can be quite time consuming. Alternatively, if you want to share a collaborative component across multiple pages, it is best to set it up on one of the class pages and have teachers use alternative source linking to link to this component, as we did with the news component in the previous example. Another cool tip for using alternative source linking is the ability to have a number of different files components to organise your resources on a page. Usually, when adding the files component to a page, all files on the page will appear. 
However, there are times when you want to have two different files components showing two different sets of files. This helps you to organize your files on a page. To do this, use the options menu on your page to add subfolders. Then, add some files components to your page. Go to Settings and use the Source option to find the subfolders that you have created and link them to your files components. You can then drag and drop different sets of files onto the files components on your page so that you can have multiple files components showing different sets of files.